This is Russell Holly. I'm doing a brief video here on the uh, pre-alpha that came out for uh, Mozilla Fennec, the uh, browser for Android. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it here. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is the actual logo, which you can take a look at. Um, neat little Firefox icon there uh, has been replaced by the the uh, Fennec logo, the you know the the smaller fox with the the globe and those enormous ears. Um, it's uh, installable from the uh, Mozilla website. They give you an APK that you can just go ahead and run when you load it up here. Uh, keep in mind this is a pre-alpha. A lot of this stuff is you know not really working very well and it's all being kind of cleaned up and worked on. But the things that do work right now are very very neat. Um, the uh, URL bar up top is pretty much standard for you know browsing. You've got uh, you know full web page scrolling here. Um, one of the things that they have covered already is that pinch to zoom will be available. You will be able to use multi touch, but it is not actually active in the pre alpha. Taking a look at the design, you know you've got the the kind of black theme. Uh, you know you slide to the left here. You've got your tabs. Um, you can you know switch back and forth between existing tabs that you have open and if you switch to the right you have uh, you know favorites your uh, back and, and forward all your navigational control stuff and down here you can access any widgets or anything that you may have open and want to activate any of your settings and preferences you can activate from the bottom so the interface is nice and clean in that you really at this point you don't even need the menu button uh, to access a lot of the main features, which is good because the menu button doesn't actually do anything yet, neither does the back button. Um, you know, browsing is pretty standard. Uh, one of the things that they do integrate here with any version of Firefox is the add ons that you get. And one of the first add ons that I tested here was the uh, Twitter bar. If you type up here, uh, pretty much anything, you just, you know, type in some random letters, and what you'll see there is the little, the little bird will pop up there and if you select that uh, icon and you already have something uh, you know your Twitter account already saved it'll uh, post it to Twitter right from the URL bar which I thought was kinda nice um, future versions of this are gonna include uh, link sharing and uh, you know the ability to comment on links that you throw in there uh, but like I said right now this is just a pretty you know pre-alpha if you're gonna install the uh, the APK from the Mozilla website which uh, you know the links right here what you're going to want to do is make sure you don't have apps to SD turned on uh, if you're a uh, mod user because that's not going to work. It has to be installed on the base system. It's big right now. It's like uh, it's like 30 megs, I think, um, when I when I went to install it. So make sure you've got the room if you get to install it on your base system, and understand that it's you know it's a pre-alpha. It's being worked on. They're not even nightly build set up for it yet, and their uh, their method of reviewing right now is through a Google Groups thing which is also linked here but if you're looking for something new to play with on your uh, Nexus One or, or your uh, Droid it actually works on either one right now anything with 2.0 suspectedly but they've only tested it on those two devices you know it's a it's an alternate browser it gives you the ability to fiddle with something and it's definitely a uh, it's definitely a pointer to what the future holds here with browsing on a phone you know this is a this is gonna be a complete browser with tabs and the uh, plugins you can use uh, uh, Fire Mozilla Weave, which will actually sync passwords and links and favorites and everything from your existing Firefox install on a computer, uh, you know, at home or something, to your Fennec on your Android phone. So it's it's a seamless setup. You know, if you get your favorites and everything set up on your phone or on your laptop, it's going to sync back and forth across them. So if you use Firefox at home, get Weave on your computer. You know, try out Fennec, get Weave for Fennec. It's a plugin, real easy to set up. It'll ask you for your, you know, your login for, for Firefox, and it'll sync back and forth. Uh, it works pretty nice. I don't use Firefox personally, so I'm not going to give a test of that here. Um, but, uh, you know, this, this kind of wraps that up.